Hi, I'm Chelsea, Chelsea Smith, and I lead the Young Adults Ladies Only Group. I'm a co-leader there. And um, today we'll be in week two. I wanna read you uh, a few of the scriptures in chapter two that stood out to me and what I believe the Holy Spirit gave me to, to highlight to you guys today. Um, in my Bible, it's called A Warning Against Drifting, the first. But what stood out in chapter two for me was um, actually the first verse. So it says, so we must listen very carefully to the truth we have heard, or we may drift away from it. In another translation was, we must pay careful attention. In another translation, it said, exceedingly, like take heed exceedingly. That's one of the verses I wanna talk about. And then the other one is, if you go down to verse three, it says, so it makes us think we can escape if we ignore this great salvation that was first announced by the Lord Jesus himself and then delivered to us by those who heard him. And of course what sticks out in that is, so what makes us think we can escape if we ignore? The word ignore stood out to me. This great salvation that was first announced by the Lord Jesus himself and then delivered to us by those who heard him speak. And so I wanna go back up to verse one. And it says, so we must listen very carefully to the truth we have heard, or we may drift away from it. And so when I first read this, I thought about this, this room I have at my house and I, I go in that room and I believe the Lord gave it to me when we first moved in this house. And in this room, I pray, I read. That's where I do all my stuff with the Lord. And over time, I've been in the house almost three, three years, well, no, two years. And uh, I remember walking in there and I, I just felt pricked in my heart. I felt like the Holy Spirit says, Chelsea, you used to take your shoes off in this room. You don't do that anymore used to say, this is holy ground, you know, take my shoes off. You don't do that no more. I miss that. And then he reminded me, lately you've been sitting on the couch. I have like this little love seat in there. You sit on the couch and you talk to me. You used to lay right there on the floor. And that's what came to my heart when I was reading this is, it was like, what's taking place? Ultimately, the author in Hebrews is talking about drifting away from, from all that you've heard, all that you received, and, and the truth of Jesus' supremacy and his more excellence. See, right? But what is that, that drifting away? It, it starts with little things like that. It starts with, you know, now I'm watching a little bit more of my Netflix and TV. I'm just, I'm just talking about myself. And um, what does that drifting away look like? This is, this is something Jesus gave us. He gave us something so great, so powerful through his sacrifice. And so here, my prayer has been, Lord, I don't wanna drift and treat all that I know, all this truth, all this goodness, all this richness casually casually and so um i think about like uh, a boat right being anchored on the shore if it's not hooked in that drift it's not something you you begin to feel it's a slow gliding away you look up and you're out in the deep and you're thinking how did i get here well it was a slow glide it was a slow drift and I want to challenge you guys this week, like where have you taken Christ casually that there has been a drift in your walk? Where have you not reverenced him or honored him and you treated him or, or, or what he's done as though and who he is, what he's done, who he is, what he's made available. And you treated it like 
you know, like taking it with a grain of salt. Think about that for a minute. Where, where have, where did I used to honor you? Cause it, the Arthur of Hebrews, he's talking to believers here. Where did I used, used to honor you that I, that I'm not no more, that I'm drifting? What has distracted me? Where have, not that I rejected this salvation, but where have I neglected? Cause that word ignore in verse three is it, uh, like it neglected. Where have you neglected? All that you know who he is, all the goodness. All right, so just think about that this week. Let the Holy Spirit speak to you guys. Bye.